let's assume we want to test this hypothesis there are no significant differences in CSR perceptions between male and female respondents the alternative would be there are significant differences in CSR perception between male and female respondents now here is our data in Jamovi and what we have done is we have already transformed the individual CSR items into this latent construct CSR now in order to do this in Jamovi what you need to do is just simply go to t-tests and click independent sample t-test now the reason that I am selecting independent sample t-test is that there are two groups one is male the other is female and our interest is evaluating differences between these two groups so in this particular case when there are two groups and you want to evaluate differences between two groups you go for independent samples t-test provided the different assumptions of normality and other assumptions are met let's say we've got and then what you do is you just click on it and you are provided with this output we are interested in gender as our grouping variable because this is what we want to calculate the differences in or oh, sorry rather between and differences in CSR between male and female so your grouping variable has to be categorical it can't be continuous so we are interested in student t-test here we see the results there are no significant differences because the p-value is greater than 0 0.05 so when the p-value is greater than 0 0.05 this means your hypothesis this one you fail to reject your null hypothesis you fail to reject your null hypothesis and your alternate is not supported so we can have uh, if you think that your data did not meet the normality assumption you can go for man whitney u test we'll look into that in another video so you can have descriptives as well you can have effect size cohen d now if you look this is very there is very little difference in CSR perception between male and female very little so there is no effect and here are the descriptives you've got 414 male 360 female this is the mean and you see there is no almost no difference 3.89 is the average for male 3.88 is the average for female median is the same standard deviation standard error and here the good thing is you can obviously check your hypothesis no difference between group 1 and group 2 or you can say that group 1 has got a higher value than group 2 or group 1 has got a lower value than group 2 so you can check different kinds of hypothesis you can check homogeneity test it means homogeneity and this in this case the p value is 0.199 this means that the well the the a low p value suggests a violation of assumption of equal variance but in this case equal variance is assumed because the p value is greater than 0 0.05 so the variance in group 1 and the variance in group 2 is almost the same so there is no problem with regards to homogeneity of variance and this is how you can obviously run your independent sample t-test just right click it select all copy it and let's put it in here and let's interpret it how do you interpret independent sample t-test in order to assess the differences in CSR perceptions between male and female respondents independent sample T test was utilized. The results reveal no significant differences. So you can just like write the details here. P is greater than 0 0.05, or you can mention the p value.
here you can write the mean value for male with the standard deviation okay, let's say what are the values so 3.89.602 and this will go to 3.89 you can also mention the n so that was 414 similarly you can do it for female so let's see 360 3.88 that's your 360 3.88 1607 hence h1 was not supported so this is how you can run the t-test in jmovi and also interpret the results you can obviously uh, make a single table out of it so what you can do for that is you can just like report only the details that are required for instance uh, So this is the table that you can use obviously summarize these three tables here because they are taking too much space in here so you report Levine's homogeneity test the f and p value the mean values for male and female their standard deviation the degrees of freedom the p value and cohen d so i hope this would have helped you understand the concept of independent sample t test along with how to run and report thank you very much